Welcome to another Light Bite. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, connectivity that uh, Nikon call Creative Lighting System. Uh, I have a D200 here and an SB800. I'm going to show you how to connect them both so you can fire the flash wirelessly using the built-in commander mode of certain Nikon cameras. Let's get started straight away. If we just turn on the camera go into the menu setting and the one that we're looking at the most is the little pencil icon which is located here and what we're going to do is use this paddle wheel here to scroll through the menu and sub menus to find out what we're looking for so what we need to do is we need to right click on the paddle and we're going to go down until we find the bracket, bracketing and flash menu we're going to hit the right paddle again and that's going to bring us up into the sub menu of the bracketing and flash. I'm going to scroll down until we see the built in flash menu. Again, hit the right paddle and we're going to come across the TTL, the manual repeat, and a C with a, um, a flash symbol. Okay, fairly straightforward. The TTL is to make the built in flash through the lens, M is to make the built in flash manual, RPT is a repeating flash bit of a strobe effect um, not seldom used to be honest with you in fact it's very rarely user um, that I know of and then below that we've got the commander mode right click again on the paddle and that brings us into the commander mode settings as you can see we've got the built in function we've got the group A, the group B and the channel 1 now what we need to do is we need to make the built in flash um, we need to make it so it doesn't actually affect the picture it will still fire it fires a pre-flash uh, which is a, an infrared signal which is used then to communicate with the CLS flashes okay so what we need to do we just need to make sure that instead of TTL or manual we're going to use these two little dashes which means it's going to fire it's not going to add anything to the picture if it does it's going to be very minimal okay you can see the composition part of it here is actually blanked out so it can't be used Group A, you can have it whatever you want. It does work with TTL and manual, or you can turn it off. Uh, I personally work in manual settings, so I'll keep that as M. And I tend to keep Group A as my main light and Group B as my filling light, just as a uh, a way of doing it that I use, a method. So Group A, manual, Group B, manual, and channel 1. Once you've decided on the power output and the groups, etc., and the channel, you can just press the enter button which is located here and that's ready to, to rock and roll. The only thing we need to do now is make sure that the pop-up flash on the top is up. So that's that done for a second. We'll bring in the flash. In this instance I'm using the Speedlight SB800. If you've already watched my um, tutorial on this to go through the basic functionality um, this should be quite simple but I'll show you again first of all we need to press the on and off button to switch it on we need to hold down the select button which is this button in the center here until the menu comes on as such then we want to make sure that the line in and line out where the two flash symbols here is um, highlighted in black press the select button again to highlight the sub menu here and I'm going to go down I'm going to choose remote we're going to press the select button to highlight it as you can see there's a little check mark right there and I'm going to press the on off button just the once to take us to the main screen again we're going to make sure that channel 1 is selected because that's the channel that we're working on as we've just seen from the camera and we're going to make sure that this is my only light that I'm going to be using in this um, demonstration so we're going to make that group A okay that's it that should be all set up ready to go. Let's just place that down and hopefully you should be able to see this flash. Right, that's the angle a little bit. I'm going to get my camera to make sure that it will focus on something. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to give it a go. And as you hear the beep there, and you should be able to pick up the flash as well. That's saying that they are pairing together quite nicely and they're in fact working. As you can see on the back of the flash there, there is actually no indication of power output as you can see. 
this is actually done in the camera menu if we go back press the menu back into bracket and flash back into built in and then command mode and group A you'll notice is set to a half power we can use the up and down paddle to go through the settings 1 1 28 all the way up to full power your choice to confirm everything in the built-in commander mode settings you need to press the enter button to confirm and that takes you back into the bracketing flash which means you're ready to take a picture thank you for watching please subscribe and check out my other videos i hope that they're all proving um, of use to some people and i'll see you next time thank you